Okay, today I'm going to talk about doing uh, INS alignment and uh, GB12 bombing in the Mirage. Uh, I've got the plane started, basic stuff done. Let's look at the alignment real fast. Uh, by default, nothing's turned on here. So we need to go to this knob, set it to. That's going to be really annoying. We'll set it to standby. And then we're going to go to LTLG on here. This is a English cockpit mod, so your um, text on all these things might look a little different, but the position is all that matters. So we've got coordinates in here, and these coordinates are probably not going to be correct. Uh, there is a setting in the uh, options for the Mirage that allow you to pretty much skip all this where it's all done for you, but we'll look and see exactly how this is done. What am I looking for here? So in the um, kneeboard you'll see we've got our initial position and this is the position I'm at right now. And so I need to input these numbers. And the way to do that is we're going to do north first. So we're going to pick this side, the number one. It'll blank that out. Then we need to pick whether we're north or south. You see there's an N and then an S. So let me turn this up a little bit. There's a N up here, S down here, so we're north. And it shows us north on here now. And then we'll do these coordinates, 430907. That looks good. And hit insert. And we'll do our Eastings. It's going to be this. We're going to pick East. And it's going to be 0341344. Add that in there. Done. Now all we'll need to do is flip this over to... Oops. Are they still correct? Yes. Flip this over to Align and our line thing is flashing here which is good and then we'll flip this to status I guess that's what that stands for STS and so it's it's ready to go now and then we just hit validate to start it this will count down through I think it's four different um, accuracies or whatever this number will drop we want it at one it's at a hundred now that's no good so the next thing I'm going, to, I'm going to do is talk about laser codes. So I happen to know that my JTAC is going to be using laser code 1112 and you can't change this number if the engine's running so you really need to know this ahead of time. Uh, you could just go land somewhere and shut the engine down, put the number in. It tells you what to push to change those numbers. It's pretty easy. So I'm going to fast forward now until this alignment is done. Okay, so uh, the alignment is now finished. That says ready and it's steady. If you have the default cockpit, it says something else, but it'll be a steady green indicator there. Then we can flip this to nav and flip this back to normal and we're ready to go. Okay, so uh, set up before dropping a bomb. First, um, let me get everything armed up here. So, master arm on, we're gonna pick our GB12s, which is EL1 or ELI and we need radar running. We get this indicator up here, this is what we're going to place in the area of the target and then you're going to have to depress a button. That button is Magic Slave AG Designate INS Position Update button. It's in the HOTAS category. Also, you need to make sure the bomb is armed, so you want to flip the switch up out of safe. 
It's got three positions, safe being the lowest. It'd be bad if you drop it and it's unsafe. Uh, we're using the CTLD script, which has made doing um, JTAC stuff really easy. And earlier, before I started this, I dropped off the JTAC unit in the vicinity of these targets. So he's given me his code, which I knew ahead of time, and um, some coordinates. So 323360. Let's see. We put him here. Anyway, we're almost on top of it now, so I'm going to. Let's see, almost on top of it. We'll be there in a minute. So uh, there's the runway down there, and he's actually got smoke out for me. And I found that aiming a little bit short is helpful. It seems to work better if you point right at it. Sometimes it overshoots. So, you know, 100 meters short, 200 meters short, something like that. So put the button, and now all I need to do is level out. I've tested this and flown... Uh, nose down attitude, nose up. It seems to work every time from around 20,000 feet anyway. You do have to be going a certain speed. I think uh, definitely above 350. Now that line's coming up. I've got the weapon release really squeezed before the line got there. And it dropped it. It all happened pretty quickly. So let's have a look at this bomb. So it looks like I could have launched it, uh, or aimed closer to the target, but this is working just fine. The nice thing about this is he's already got my next target lined up. And so I can turn around and go in for the second one. What's also nice is that at, you know, 20,000 feet, uh, I'm out of the range of any kind of strells, that kind of thing. Let's put it about right there. Oh, that one snuck up on me. So I'll launch that one between 10 and 15 degrees nose up at around 15,000 feet. Let's see where it goes. I have a feeling it might go over, but it might be alright there too. It's tracking. No, oh, it looks pretty good. I'll take that back. It seems to be going left. Oh no, it's not. It's hitting it. So the smoke was placed and then the vehicle moved. So here's a uh, spot. And I'll just follow the cues. It'll tell me to turn right or left. And I can go ahead and, and hold weapon release right now. This is simply CCRP.
I've got one more. I'll do this next one from um, lower altitude, say 10,000 feet. Pretty fast this time. I don't know what this is gonna do. I'll level out here. here. Comes the queue. I'm holding it. Pickle. Oh, I'm a little worried about this one. It's starting to pick up a little bit of speed now, though. Might make it. Alright, that's it.